car. What the hell is he doing? I'm just uh, I'm trying to change my grip. But it's, it's, what are you What are you trying for? Well, a flatter? Yeah. So I've, I've, been, I've been taking my back and just I'm literally going like this and just I'm not letting anything not doing anything with my thing, but it just feels weird, especially when I go up front. Yeah. I can't short hand it real quick. Yeah, it's really hard for me to take it on the short hop or even hit short on it. But I, when I am impacting it though, from the back though, I'm taking. You hit the flat, yeah. So it feels good. It's just not going. It's, I gotta work out the control. I got tired of like after like uh, uh, a couple of times I was going a couple of weeks ago. I was just sitting there. Just, just, or sometimes I hit the ball and it just feels awkward for me. My, my wrist is bending and I'm doing this and I'm floating the ball a lot. And I was like, you know, I just screw it. I'm just going to work on this grip. A flat swing? I'm not going to change it even if the ball goes on the ground or whatever. I'm just going to wait until, you know. Since it's really hard to just practice it. But I was playing Friday night, I was seeing everything really, really fun. Singles. So you've been playing Tuttle and who? Uh, I mean, Tom Mike? Tuesday, Thursday, Tuttle and, and Mike Rapper are coming. Uh, Larry comes. Uh, lefty Sean. the racket and then that one panel you see how there's a panel yeah right there on the floor yeah, yeah. i would just work it and do five and hit the front wall and all the way back to the back glass without touching side wall. then you do 20 push-ups every time you do <laughs> no I, what i would do is i would try to do 10 and get 10 and then take two steps back and 10 and get two steps back and made it all the way back to the wall and then the same thing with the back end so another thing that doesn't like the back end I can hit it at all the speeds. I can go 100%, 80%, 60 keep changing speed beforehand. It's either almost hard or nothing. There's no medium. So I, I, that's another thing. If I slow down my swing and I'll do all this weird stuff, it's sidewall, yeah. cross court, float, seal and all. The only thing is it's hard to do the same grip with a seal ball. Yeah. I have to put a slice on it or not. I can put like, this on a challenge grip to hit a silly ball, otherwise it goes right in the ground. Normal challenge court rules. Um, oh, I got to work on office. Um, yeah, right there, you can call squash?
got a longer racket, bigger fall through. Yeah, it would be tough for me to play that sport because they push on each other a little bit. Yeah, well, it's like the they'll bump into each other. I don't know, yeah. Hell no. You know who was bad about pushing was a. Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Mr. Speedy, Hispanic fellow. Forget his name. Is he still play? He usually played with Tuttle and then Tuttle. Yeah, yeah. He would push off with you. Bardo's a. Uh, one thing about Bardo is he does it with a practicer playing. He always goes. He always runs like that. He's playing a, a tournament. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a good trick to have. I, you know, you, you, you loop around here. And, you know, you tend to slow it down. You end up playing down to your, who you're playing against. And that kind of throws me off. What are y'all doing for the holidays? In town? Yeah, it's, it's so much easier to have Christmas with the three little kids here. You know, I'm all the presents all around the place. So, Family live in town? Yeah. Uh, no, well, my, no, they don't. But they're, I just, we'll do Christmas here and then go to the in Oh, okay. But that way we won't have to travel with all the presents and explain why Santa shipped all the presents to, to the tree in Dallas. <laughs> we'll send them a letter. Plus, I got the specification. I like to relax in my own home. Yeah, no joke. Every time I go to the in-laws, it's like... I just camp upstairs. Right? It's not my own house. I hear you. He kept, he kept hitting a lob that would hit high, but when it bounced, it would come out straight across, and he would just camp out right there. With enough room to, to hit it, like, just straight in? Yeah, well, no, I mean, I'm talking, I had, like, 10 feet. I mean, it was way off the back glass, and he wouldn't budge. And I was hitting around him, and the ref wasn't calling it, so two times in a row, I let him up in the left leg. He moved after that. It's just like one of your shot options at that point in time. If you get into the corner and you miss any bit, he's just sitting he's right there. For it, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's waiting for you, yeah. He's waiting for you. You've got to get perfect. Now, I see the pros do that. They, just kind of about they, they probably know. They just know when to go and jump. At my level, they just kind of can't just take advantage. I may go around with one. Well, even hit a medium shot right into the guy's leg. But that was also after he, he caught me across the chest with his racket. I mean, it was an accident, but he didn't like, I'm like, oh, my bad, I'm sorry. He just played like nothing happened when I know he, he, he knew he hit me. How did you used to hold it? 
I play a lot of tennis. So yeah. really, really flat? Yeah. In tennis, you hit like that. So I'm so, I, I do hold that grip sometimes, but I put my racket up like that and I try and fall through. But what's, what I'm doing is when I'm like this, I have to move my racket back and then swallow through. So now I'm just trying to uh, already have eliminate that wrist, that wrist talking, I guess it's called, or whatever it is. And my arm maybe, or my swing speed's not fast enough to move my wrist all the way around. Go up and wait. I thought about switching to the 170 and just really? and See. just keeping the same swing speed, but whenever you make contact with the ball, you got a little more racket weight. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's so. I, I, I bet a 165 for a while. But... I've been at 165 for 10 years. My wife got me a 155 when I first Oh, wow. Merry Christmas. I was like, oh, I didn't. I didn't want to be mean, but like, I didn't really ask for it. She didn't know anything about it. The guy at the camp, he said this is a good racket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whenever Sports Authority used to be right there off of by Palmer, yeah. my wife went over there for something. And that's when I had, uh, it was a head racket. I can't remember what it was. It was a white head racket. It was a blackjack. It was something. I can't remember what it was. But she came home with three of them. And was like, I, th I think this is the one you play with. I said, how much did you pay for these? She said, I think it's like 30 bucks a piece. I was like, good job. <laughs> Terrible man. Yeah, I'm so bad. The back is fine. Shoulder back is holding up. Yeah. Shoulder hurts. Yeah. Horrible.